Hey there, welcome back to a, another week of reading. I hope you are all doing well. The book I have picked up this week to read because last week I finished A Midsummer Night's Dream, uh, the physical copy I've decided to start is Sailor Moon Volume 1. I am adoring this. This is my first time reading through the Sailor Moon manga, um, but it's very, very familiar to me. I know what's going on because I used to watch the show, the anime, when I was younger, and I loved it. I've also laughed so much and I found myself like smiling. I find it quite quite funny. Sailor Moon is like, she just fails spectacularly. Spectacularly. Spectacularly? Yeah, that's a real word. She fails completely at being a human being. She just wants to sleep and eat and not go to school and sleep somewhere. In terms of audiobooks, I started a couple new ones. The first one I'm reading is called The Queen's Shadow by E.K. Johnson. Johnston? Johnson? One of those. Uh, it's about Padme and her kind of handmaidens and guards and royal attendees, um, basically what their lives are like, what being a decoy for the queen is like. It's set in the Star Wars universe right after The Phantom Menace ends, I believe, or a few years after. No, I think it's right after Phantom Menace, I think. Um, I'm really liking it. It's kind of basically just 100% Star Wars politics, which I'm not upset about because I really love politically heavy, politically dense, and politically focused works, but um, it's not the most exciting thing for sure. It's a little bit dry. I also started reading another nonfiction memoir called A Thousand Miles to Freedom. Um, it's about this one girls and her family as well, their escape from North Korea, um, and telling about basically what her life was like, how she escaped, what escaping was like, and now her new life in South Korea. So that's really, really interesting, um, really hard to read as well. I'm only, I think, an hour through, but um, I keep like listening to a little bit of it and then coming back to it, so yeah. In terms of other things happening this week, I'm getting some new glasses this week, which will be fun. I don't know if I'm gonna change up the frames at all because I do, I do enjoy these ones. I also wanna try a few more new recipes this week. I wanna make my own trail mix, which is like the easiest recipe you could possibly try probably, but um, I like to kind of make my own. I don't really like trail mix, but I think if I maybe made it myself, I would. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna stop babbling. I'm gonna go have some lunch and I'm gonna read a little bit of Sailor Moon. I'm so sleepy today. I just woke up from a nap um, and I thought it was a good time to mm -hmm, just chat. I feel pretty cozy. I hope you're cozy. Um, I made the peppermint creamy vanilla tea. It's really, really good. I'm loving it. Um, I'm gonna try and stop tapping on everything I touch. I just, I've been like 
thinking about making all of these ASMR videos recently. Um, and that's something I'd like to start doing again because I only have one up on my channel, but it's really, really bad quality. It's really low quality because I don't have a microphone, but I've been looking into getting a microphone, a proper mic recently to start making some ASMR videos. So hopefully those will be coming in the near future. Um, as for some audiobooks today, I actually finished Queen, no, The Queen Shadow by E.K. Johnston. Um, I gave it three stars. I was a little bit disappointed because it didn't really delve into everything that I wanted it to delve into surrounding Padme and like it's for timeline's sake it ends before like Obi-Wan and Anakin even get to Coruscant so it was definitely really really lackluster but it was nice having any perspective and any any point of view of Padme because we really don't get much of her so also the verdict is in on the trail mix I still don't like trail mix <laughs> I don't know why I thought I would like it any better when I was the one who cobbled all the nuts together, but I don't. Um, and that's fine. So I think right now I'm going to go make a proper dinner. Um, on the bright side though, I have a whole bunch of chocolate now. So, yeah. Good morning, it is Tuesday afternoon, very early afternoon. I just got basically dressed, had some breakfast, had some oatmeal. It's a little bit cooler today, which is so nice because um, I can like feel it, you know, and you can feel the, the late summerness in the air and you can feel everything ready to die and become autumn, which is a good thing. <laughs> I just thought I would do a little reading update and uh, also say hello to the so many new people who are here. Hi, tell me who you are, what your name is. Come say hi. I love seeing so many new people in the comments. It's so, so cool. So nice. And there's so many of you just popping out of nowhere. Where did you come from? Um, I'm so glad you, you found your way here. Um, yeah, hello. <laughs> um, I'm just standing randomly in the corner of my room with this lamp that um, is a moose lamp because <laughs> when you turn it on, wow, look at all that meese. Anyway, I think I mentioned that I started uh, the Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson, which is the third book in the Truly Devious series. I don't know what this is. Um, I'm really liking it. I feel like it might become my favorite of the trilogy. I know it's the last one. However, I also know that Maureen Johnson is going to be releasing The Box in the Woods, which is another novel about Stevie, who is our main detective character, but not connected to the Ellingham murders, um, which is what the first three are all about basically her solving those murders, which is really, really cool. But I just think this last one is going to be my favorite because so much information is revealed. And I would definitely say that I think the series gets better as it goes along. If you've read the Truly Devious series, um, the three books in it, I think that's how I would rank them probably as my favorite from least to first. So yeah, I don't really have that many more plans today. I do want to um order some new makeup because it's been three years <laughs> it's been three whole years since i've purchased makeup products which is cool i think it's just because like i i use those products very infrequently and when i do use them i don't use like a variety or a large variety of them so like i go through them very very slowly but um i think i just want to make like 
a cool eyeshadow purchase because recently I've been wanting to get more into like some cool neutral fall tony eyeshadow because fall's coming up but um the, the eyeshadow palettes I do have in my life right now when I use them they like really irritate my eyes so I think they're just like tremendously ancient eyeshadow palettes and they need to go they need to go because uh yeah <laughs> so I want to look for some brands that are definitely cruelty free and just see like basically what's the best environmentally friendly eyeshadow purchase I can make so if anyone has any recommendations or suggestions please leave them down below because it's been it's just been so long since I've made a makeup purchase that like I don't I don't really know where to look anymore I don't know where to start um so yeah if you have any brands you like or brands you trust definitely let me know I still need to go and make some dinner after this. Um, I don't know what this is. This is just like, I get so like overwhelmed every time a package comes and like, it's just a gift from someone most of the time I don't even know or someone I've spoken to very, very rarely. And it just, it means so much. And um, it's so like, I can say words of gratitude as frequently as I would like, but they'll never really express like, what i'm really feeling and what i'm really trying to say so i'm gonna open this um i'm really excited i don't know what it is it's quite heavy oh wait perhaps oh that's a lot of paper okay let's see all right the note says enjoy your gift from peter oh my gosh there's two things in here what is this what is it <gasps> wait oh guys <laughs> It's sheets. Oh my gosh, it is sheets. The beautiful, cute, 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 cute graphic novel um, that I've been hearing so much about and I know it's like a really, really great, um, obviously really spooky, awesome October reading material book. Um, can we just take a second? Oh, also my nails, pale wave coming through. I also just wanna say my face got really sunburnt today because I spent 10 minutes in the sun. <laughs> Um, but wow, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. I love the art style. This looks like it's gonna be the gosh darn cutest thing. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Wow. I feel like I'm literally gonna read this and then want to like <laughs> rip pages out to put on my wall or something. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I, okay. I have like a vague idea of what this plot is about. I know we're following our 13 year old protagonist who lives above a laundry shop or does she just work at a laundry shop? A laundry shop, what am I saying? They're called laundromats, Emma. Um, responsible for running her family's laundromat while trying to survive middle school. I don't know what middle school is. 
Marjorie's daily struggles include persnickety customers, snippy classmates, agonizing swim lessons, and laundry. Always, always laundry. And Wendell, our other character, is a ghost. He escapes from the land of ghosts and bumbles into Marjorie's laundromat, the perfect ghost playground. Um, so I think this whole graphic novel is about their friendship, which is so cute. Um, I'm so excited to read this. I was also really interested in this book because Lemony Snicket said really good things about it, who wrote a series of unfortunate events. I've recently read the first book in his other newer series, all the wrong questions which i really loved um so this it looks so cute thank you so much i'm so happy about this there's also something else in here it's very heavy it's sappho it's sappho wow it is the complete poems of sappho i love the variety Oh, my heart. I'm so happy about this. Thank you so much. Thank you from the bottom of my arteries. Thank you. Wow. Surprisingly, the only Sappho I've read in my life have been the, has been the um, fragments translated by Anne Carson, um, which was it was incredible, uh, five stars, and then I've only had to read other little snippets in class here and there, so I've never come close to owning anything of anything resembling her complete works, or the complete poems, and this is the translation by Willis Barnstone. Um, wow, I'm beyond excited to get into this because um, it was quite the experience reading her fragments, and even from these little, like, usually only one sentence or half of a sentence or sometimes even a couple words was like incredible beauteous language wonderful absolutely wonderful i know ann carson plays a huge role in obviously translating the ancient greek into english but now having something like this where you can like witness sappho um in a in a much better way probably because most of these are uh, intact and almost intact poems themselves so i'm like just mm, brimming with excitement about this thank you thank you thank you so much this was just so unbelievably kind this made my day i just can't get over wendell oh my gosh i think he's gonna be my new best friend i just want to like read um you guys one of these because i really want to just start reading them immediately right now i love reading like the first um sentences of books or the first poems in books to really get a little flavor okay the one i want to read here i just flipped to it is called in time of storms and it goes uh brightness and with good luck we will reach the harbor and black earth we sailors have no will in big blasts of wind hoping for dry land and to sail our cargo floating about many labors until dry land wow 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 wow, wow. And this one's called Cicada, which is perfect because there's been so many cicadas recently. Anyway, flaming summer charms the earth with its own fluting and under leaves the cicada scrapes its tiny wings together and incessantly pours out full shrill song. Wow. Sappho. Sappho, 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 Sappho. Incredible. I love it. Oh my god. Right now, it's a little bit after 7 o'clock. I'm going to go make some dinner. Don't know what I'm gonna have yet. And then I want to finish editing up this video that I want to get out really, 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 really soon. I wanted to get it out like on Wednesday, but I wasn't feeling super well. So, um, yeah, I want to try and get that finished up tonight, but... Hiya. Yeah. It is Thursday. Um, I just... I finished a book this morning and I finished another series, which is crazy because in August I, this is the second series I finished and I never, like ever, finished series ever. <laughs> um, so I finished The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson, which is the last book in the trilogy, the Truly Devious trilogy. Um, at the end and at the start of this book, I like, I guessed who the murderer was, which was a bit unfortunate, but um, I didn't really have a clue until the beginning of the third book, which was nice. So yeah, I really liked it. I really liked the series. Like it's not anything super, super amazing 
great spectacular but it's still like a series i would say i really really like and it's very entertaining it's a very cozy murder mystery series because for most of it they're like up on this mountain actually for all of it um at ellingham academy which is located at the top of a mountain in vermont and the series takes place over the autumn and winter months so you have just like everything cozy going on and it was great unfortunately since finishing the hand on the wall um i started a whole bunch more audio books but i just haven't been able to find one that i really really loved right now i'm listening to kill the queen by jennifer Estep, which i don't know if i'm gonna dnf or not i just i don't know it's a fantasy um but i just haven't heard very many good things about it i also started the lifters by dave eggers which is a middle grade contemporary i think I'm not really sure. So yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna be reading next. I'm still reading Sailor Moon. I'm really taking my time with that one because I'm loving it. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. I just got to act two where uh, Luna is advising Misagi to kind of start making some allies, making some friends because uh, evil is invading Earth and there's lots of things on Earth that aren't human who are evil and who should not be here. So she's kind of trying to find some allies. Namely, right now I think she's pursuing Sailor Mercury. So that's kind of where I am with that. I look so weird, but I was also just in the middle of getting everything set up for the live show on Saturday for the Dark Academics live show. I think this video might go up after the live show just because I have another video ahead of this one scheduled. It is a very breezy day. I'm about to go for a little walk outside, change out of my blanket, um, and just, yeah chill out and then I'm really I'm really really excited for this live show on Saturday I know tomorrow's Friday I still have another day to wait but I'm just really excited to talk to all of you guys um I've just missed being able to talk to you in real real time but it's been so nice chatting with everyone in the comments oh <laughs> also there's 10,000 over 10,000 of people here now um which is just so so precious so I can't even speak crazy absolutely crazy um once again, I don't know where you all came from, but I'm glad you somehow made your way here. Thank you. Just thank you. That's crazy. I think I'm going to do a Q&A. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do a Q&A and kind of spice it up a little bit, make it a little bit different and fun and I don't even know. Um, so, yeah. There will be, I think, a Q&A announcement coming shortly. As per usual, if you ever have any questions, just feel free to leave them down below, um, and I will hopefully be able to get to them in the Q&A. Anyway, I'm gonna sadly relinquish my fuzzy blanket and go for a walk. Hey guys, it's actually Saturday now. Um, I am exhausted, you can probably tell. Today was the live show for the Dark Academics Book Club on my channel for If We Were Villains, so um, that finished up about like four hours ago, three or four hours ago now. Um, but then right after that ended, I had to really quickly scramble to get um, tomorrow's video, which is Sunday, up and edited. Um, I wanted to get it out a bit before I think I mentioned, but um, it's okay. So this vlog for this week that you're seeing, you'll probably be seeing on Wednesday now. So I hope you've had a wonderful Wednesday. Um, it was really, really nice seeing you all and talking to you all at the live show. I feel like I was just, I feel like I was spaced out for a lot of it. Um, and I always like flipping, flipping, flopping <laughs> on whether to like put a little concussion disclaimer in because I feel like I stare off into the distance a lot since looking at screens is really, really difficult. Yeah, regardless of that, it was so much fun. I always love talking to all of you and it just reminds me of how lovely everyone is and it's so nice getting to talk to everyone all at the same time and hear what you thought about books and yeah, after every single live show, I just feel really, really grateful and happy to have you all in my life. I'm in shambles. Uh, it's been a pretty rough week, which is like, I don't think it's really shown. Maybe it has this vlog. I don't really know. It's so hard, but like, I always also flip-flop on that, whether to really to talk about when things aren't going well, mental health-wise or concussion-wise, but it's also something that I don't want to talk about because I like having at least some part of my life, YouTube and my YouTube videos, be a really safe, happy place. Um, but a lot of people always tell me that it helps them um, when other people talk about it, and I feel the same way, so I understand that, but um, 
yeah, it's just been a really tough week concussion wise. We're coming up to 11 months with a brain injury um, and it's just taken its toll basically. Anyway, the live show is a really, really great thing in my life. That's what I want to focus on, just the positive. The next book I should mention for September is Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. It's going to be on Lucy's channel over at Crescent Pages. I believe on the 26th of September. Of course, all the details will um, be incoming at a later date. And yeah, what else? We're planning something very spooky for October, which I'm so pumped about because October is my favorite month. I'm gonna go have the best nap of my life right now. Yeah, okay, that is all. I love you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Ciao.